Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carter, and this is episode four of Walking One Take. And um, obviously, I'm not walking right now. Um, yesterday, I tried to film this video, uh, but it was probably you know 7:30 or 8 p.m. And I was already like 40 minutes into my walk, and I was like out in the cornfield, and I was like super sweaty, out of breath. The audio was all messed up. There were like crickets and like animals making noises. It was. It was it was just a whole mess, so I decided to remake it today. Um, so even though I'm not walking, I'm going to make it uh, one take. So, you know, all of my stumbles and slurs and whatever else I screw up with um, along the way, you're going to get to hear them and be a part of it. So uh, but today's video is actually going to be a tip. Um, rather than, like, answering a question, it's just going to be a tip um, for, for doing cardio because I've been getting more into walking and stuff uh, that I've personally been using and it's been being it's like been super helpful um in making cardio more enjoyable for me um and i think that it'll help you so i'll just be uh, really quick with this and just kind of tell you what you need to do um first off if you've seen uh some of my other videos or read some of my blog posts i'm not a huge fan of cardio uh mostly just because i think it's overhyped um people do too much of it or they um kind of go for cardio in the beginning rather than fixing their nutrition. And, uh, you know, I can make, a, I've already made a whole video on that. Um, and I'll probably make more on it later. Just how, you know, cardio is not, cardio alone is not a very good solution for losing weight and especially not in the long term. It's all about diet. Um, but, but that's besides the point. Um, there is, you know, evidence and obviously anecdotal evidence that cardio will help you lose weight, um, because it will increase your calories burned. Uh, and we all know that, you know, calories, like losing weight comes down to calories in versus calories out. And so when you're dieting, you're bringing less calories in, um, but cardio will help you um, expend more calories. So there will be more calories out. So obviously it's just a way um, of burning more, of burning more calories and, you know, losing fat faster. And um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of like high intensity cardio or at least not like prolonged, like running and jogging and stuff, just because I think that it's, um, neurally taxing, uh, it's like stressful, and I would rather see somebody fix their diet, but I do recommend um, walking uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I think that walking is more meditative than it is stressful, um, and it can actually help you, you know, recover and uh, get your mind off of things and off of food, which is a good thing. Um, and then two, I also think that it's important to be active throughout the day, and so for me, for example, um, whenever I wasn't working out like three days a week, I really wasn't being that active, and the only reason I know this or it became apparent to me is because I got this Fitbit for my birthday, and I'm normally not a fan of fitness trackers, uh, but I noticed that I was only taking you know, 3,000, 4,000, sometimes 5,000 at the max steps a day, and that's kind of like, it's, I, I, I mean, I, I don't like that. I, I think people need to be more active and... Um, it's just healthy to be more active and move more. So I kind of set a goal to take 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day. And with that, I've started to take daily walks. And at first it was really easy. Um, but uh, as you probably know, if you've tried to use walking as a source of cardio, if you want to burn, you know, 400 or 500 calories walking, you're going to have to go for a long, you know, 45 or 60 minute walk. And I noticed that like trying to do that on a treadmill um, or like walking around the track or even like walking like just around my neighborhood, it was really hard to keep myself motivated the entire time uh, to walk and just to continue walking and like fight the urge to stop or like cut it short or whatever. Um, and so this is the hack that I figured out. So, so here's the hack. And it's you set your alarm or set your timer, you know, for... So let's say you want to walk 45 minutes or let's say you want to walk 40 minutes. That'll be easier to do the math. Set your timer for 20 minutes and walk in one direction. And so this will um, accomplish two things. One, it's going to allow you for, for that 20 minutes, you know, play psychologically hype yourself up for that 20 minutes. If, if this is only if cardio is a struggle for you, like it is for me. So for that 20 minutes, you know, just focus on, um, you know, using your willpower to keep walking in that straight line. Like, don't worry about um, anything else. You know, just just try to relax for 20 minutes, walk in a straight line. And then once the timer goes off, the only option you have at that point is to turn around and walk back another 20 minutes. And on that walk back, you're actually not really using any willpower um, or uh and there's not really any resistance because it's literally the only way you're going to get home is to walk back. So you kind of just accept it. Like you kind of just accept the fact that, all right, I got to walk back. And it seems silly, um, 
but I don't know. I, I've noticed that it's really helped me and it's really worked. And it's almost made cardio easier. Like it makes walking for 60 minutes or 45 minutes, whatever, seem a lot easier when you put all of your attention on the first half, walking in one direction. Um, Cause on your walk back, you know, like I said, you, you have to walk back to get home. And so uh, definitely try this out if you struggle with cardio or if it's kind of something that, you know, you get bored with or um, don't really enjoy doing. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully this helps you as much as it helped me. And if you know somebody that this might help, who you know, struggles with moving more and being more active, uh, definitely share it with them. Uh, and, and see how they like it, because I'm interested. And if it did work for you, please comment down below, because, I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm the only person this was work for. Uh, so, yeah, this is the end of the episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like this where I'm answering questions, you know, giving advice, um, whatever, uh, definitely subscribe, and you'll get updated uh, whenever a new video comes out. So, thanks, guys.